remind us to live our lives to the fullest. The stories are filled with good life lessons about feeling good, but this week it's all about doing good. Yeah, Mia's taking us on an adventure that's all about daring to give back in a very unique way. Two showers. This is a friendship turned family. That's my brother. I mean, I would do anything for that man. I was at his camp um, about three, four years ago. I was homeless when I met Evan, waking up wondering where I'm going to get my next meal or if I was even going to wake up because somebody might come and raid my tent and kill me. He basically came to me and was like, hey, what is, what's the best necessity that I could, we could use to help the homeless? And I was like, bro, a shower would be nice. Evan immediately took B's need to heart. I was like, okay, so. Uh, what I gotta do? I searched and there's like mobile shower trailers. I was like, oh, that'll be perfect for people in our community. A couple years later, here we are. We became an official nonprofit October 13th of 2020. But this story starts long before then. My parents were divorced when I was real young. Um, I couch surfed when I was real young too. But I had teachers in high school who would stay back after class for like 15 minutes and just allow me to just cry because I was going through so much trauma at home. My cousin was shot and murdered when I was young, and I just didn't know, as a 15-year-old, how to navigate life. I don't know if I would be here to this day, right? And so by teachers, by people listening, by being there to support, that changed my life. And now the seeds they've sown allow me to help other people in their journey. While working to help with homelessness during his first job, he remembered what it felt like to actually be heard. And it's what led to the Be Heard movement. They felt loved, seen, and their voices were being heard, right? And so from then, um, that's how the name kind of started. And so I'm the founder, but their voices are the foundation of this whole thing. We ended up praying for a mobile shower trailer. He says in late 2020, their prayers were answered when they received a donation that paid for their very first mobile shower trailer. And in that moment, I cried, not because, like, I got something, but people on the street were just hoping for a shower, right? And so it, it's so it's so amazing to see people um, come in as, you know, dirty and then leave clean. We hear people crying in the shower, right, because it's like they haven't had a shower in weeks or even, and even months. People that do have a house take, like I said, take a shower for granted. They're, they're mad because the water's not hot enough. They're mad because their shower head's not big enough. That brings us to good life lesson number one. I mean, I'm happy with what I have, what I was able to have. I'm not worried about going down the street and somebody walking past me and holding their nose. Kindness matters. You never know what someone is going through. Honestly, these showers right here made me feel human again. Hearing B say that, I knew I had to do more. I was working on donations for you. Come on. This is all shower gels oh. and lotions. Come on. How about that? Yeah. We needed, we, we needed that. We needed that. Speaking of needs, whether it's their needs or wants, Evan caters to his clients daily. We have a saying called client choice, client voice. So whatever the client wants, we want for them. So much power and weight behind listening, and that's key to success. Evan says B is proof of that success. Which I just got housed. B's first place to call home in five years. What is that like? Amazing. By listening, Evan has built a foundation that truly serves the needs of people he so desires to help. Their needs matter and their voice matters. They matter. And Evan says with the help of his team, including the man who's become family, they are just getting started. Showers, laundry, haircuts, clothing, food. So we're really a one-stop shop on wheels to help people in their homelessness. I volunteer with him to help other people. And he needs me, I, let's go. <laughs> As the Be Heard organization continues to grow, it mm. says it would like to add a food truck to provide hot meals and even employment to those that are unhoused.